Opening title. Safe toddles. Toddler cane. Hi, I'm Dr. Grace Ambrose and I'm here today to talk about long cane next step warning and specifically how to calculate that figure so that you get an accurate understanding of your student's next step warning when using the long cane. Here is the formula. At the top is the total number of steps taken that were onto ground that was swept or tapped by a cane. The bottom number, that's the total number of steps. And then when you divide the bottom number into the top number, you get your percentage of next step warning. So let's take a look at a few videos. I have the real time and then I have a slowed down version that helps us count the steps accurately. What I have here today are 100 steps broken up into 10 step series. Each time we have 10 steps, we'll calculate the next step warning. And that way we can get an accurate idea of how well the student is using it. The student that we're looking at today is Audrina, our three-year-old preschooler from New Mexico who just loved the wearable cane. You found me, well you better catch me. Yeesh. I've never seen you run so fast. I can't just This is her using her long cane. Series one equals 10 steps. The student is walking on smooth sidewalk. Her cane looks to stay in front of her as she takes her 10 steps. She achieved a 60% next step warning. The reason mostly her cane stays in front of her left foot, which automatically cuts the number of steps in half that are protected. So because the cane sweeps once more to the right, she gets 60% next step warning. Series two, 10 steps. In series two, we notice that when the cane comes off the ground, it does not have her stop. So that's 40% next step warning, but also an indication that she is not stopping when the cane tip stops. Known as walking past your cane, it's often a sign the cane user is not relying on the tactile feedback or doesn't understand what the tactile feedback of the cane means. By maintaining her cane on the right side in her right hand, she achieves a 40% next step warning. Now series three, 10 steps. She's on a flat sidewalk. The cane is mostly in front, but her next step warning is still only 40%. And here's why. In the slowed down version, once again, we see that while she's walking, the cane is actually wide to the right. She does maintain the cane in front of the right foot for several steps, but then the cane is once again wide to the right or 40% next step warning. Series four, 10 steps. In the quick version, it's very obvious that the cane is not in front of Audrina's steps. Also known as zero next step warning. And in the slow version, we can see that very clearly, that there are no protected steps. Or zero next step warning. In the series five, 10 step, in the quick version, we see again, very easy to spot that none of her steps are being checked by the cane. So a 0% next step warning. Series six for 10 steps. And we see it's off to the right. No next step warning with the cane. 18 out of 60 steps have been onto protected space. So the reverse of that is that over 40 steps have been onto space that was not checked previously by her cane. So she doesn't really have an adequate safe mobility percentage using the long cane on this path. The cement path is a clear path, but looking ahead, we see she's about to transition to a gravel path. And what we can also look at is her pace and her gait to see how it changes in response to this less even surface. Series seven through 10, 40 steps. I'm not used to walking on gravel. Miss Jackie's gonna go get your new cane and see what it, how it changes. So how do you walk on gravel when your cane doesn't roll across it? Right here. 
Well, are you going that direction? Yeah. You can follow the, you can, Danielle, is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. You can follow Danielle who's videoing you to go straight. She's going down the path, but I want to see how you use your cane going across all this rocky, rocky trail. Her next step warning was two out of 40 steps or 5%. Without prompting, Adrena comes to a halt and in answering a question about how to use her cane, she gives a very unclear answer. She is able to be prompted to follow someone ahead of her. However, following is orientation, cane skills is mobility and it is clear that Audrina lacks safe mobility from her long cane in this sequence of 100 steps. After analyzing Adrena's next step warning with the long cane, it's obvious that she doesn't obtain a high enough percentage of next step warning to consider the long cane as a safe mobility tool. She is severely visually impaired and she does need tactile next step warning. On the gravel terrain, it really dropped to 5%. So 95% of Audrina's trip on the gravel was without any warning about what was coming next. And we saw that. We saw the impact on her pace, the impact on her concentration and focus was really on safety and not on what anyone was saying or, you know, play. It was very serious. So now what we did in, in the middle of the gravel, she hands over her long cane and the prototype P20 wearable cane was put on her. We have the hundreds, first hundred steps of that journey here. And so what I'll do is I'll play it in real time and then after that, we'll look at it in slow motion to calculate the next step warning. After she does her 100 steps, the real difference will be is revealed at the very end of this video, how the, she starts to use the wearable cane as a probe to seek out information and to grow her language and interaction with her environment. So I hope you stay tuned all the way to the end. Right out of the gate, she turns to get a clear path, having felt on her cane the shrub in front of her. That's 10 steps with 100% next step warning. Each foot has a contact ahead of it so that every step is onto ground that has been swept previously by the cane tips. Oops. 
That's 30 steps. 100% next step warning. After 40 steps, 100% next step warning. Halfway through, 100% next step warning. Notice the teachers. They are more relaxed. They're standing up straight. They're talking to each other. 60 steps, 100% next step warning. Her pace is straighter, more consistent, less stopping. She's even letting go. 70 steps, 100% next step warning. I do believe they enjoy getting the feedback from touching the canes, and it's also a good skill for them to learn how to manipulate it back and forth. 80 steps, 100% next step warning. And now we've arrived. 100 steps and ending on being warned of that plant at the beginning and at the end. And here's what happens next. Erin, did something. You did? Yeah. It's like a little weed. It's a sharp plant. It's pokey. But you can bend down and try and feel it if you want. It looks like a goat has Yeah, they're not very... They're really pokey. I wouldn't... Yeah, all right, let's keep following Danielle. She's making it. Do you, want to, do you want to try to run? To summarize what we've seen today, the long cane is an effective mobility tool when it's used correctly. But when you're under five years old, it's very difficult to use a long cane correctly. And so Audrina tried very hard to use her cane, but her next step warning percentage was terribly low. The reason we focus on next step warning is to highlight the deficit in safe mobility that occurs when someone doesn't use a cane correctly. A long cane is a very effective mobility tool for children over five and grown-ups who are able to move that cane consistently as they walk about. The wearable cane is really designed for those kids who cannot do that yet and they still are visually impaired and need safe next step warning. Thank you for watching and for more information, more videos to sign up to get a cane or to donate a cane, please go to our website www.safetoddles.com. For more information, contact info at safetoddles.com.